is time. It is time to brew your best beer. The 2015 SJ Pour Challenge is brought to you by the Grainbill Homebrew Supply, located in Red Lion, Pennsylvania. Brewers Exchange, operating in the U.S. and Canada. Finney's Homebrew Emporium, located in Bishopdale, Christchurch, New Zealand. And Omega Yeast, located in Chicago, Illinois. So, fellow brewtubers, um, it's it's pretty early on a Saturday morning. It's 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 after three in the morning, and you, why am I up? Uh, you ask. Uh, well, it's because I did an unscheduled visit to the emergency room uh, because uh, my dumb butt um, shut the storm door on my foot when I was trying to load my car, and I put a big gash in it. My family's in Colorado. I'm supposed to be flying to go see them tomorrow uh, for a uh, weekend getaway and uh, fly fishing and all that. And now I've got three stitches in my foot and it's killing me. So, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna grin it and bear it. So you you know what? I figured uh, what what better way to to spend a restless night since I have a flight at five in the morning. My wife did a good job scheduling my flight. Uh, I do an SJ Poor challenge. So here we have. Uh, 911113 CBB, or as we say, Charlie Bravo Bravo. Uh, here it is. Little face bear. Uh, wow, so this is a. Uh, so his special ingredients is using water from Bear Creek, which I assume is near uh, their house, his own homegrown hops, and Pennsylvania maple syrup. Uh, wow, from, uh, I think, uh, S.J. Porsche from Pennsylvania, too. I wonder if this is his. Anyway, uh, no, I don't think so. Maybe, I don't know. Uh, let's see, so half of it was brewed in ale, half of it is lager, and then blended together. Uh, and it's called Bear Creek Farmhouse Ale, and I love me some farmhouse ale. So let's get into this and see what happens. Kind of all over the place tonight. It's been a long travel day. I flew in from Boston. Um... Nice little hiss, perfect hiss. A little bit of smoke coming off. Man, this is, uh, I can tell this is going to be good. Let's see the pour here. All right, stop it there. Leave all the yeasties in the bottom if it's not bottle conditioned. Okay, so what do we have here? So there it is. Boys and girls, uh, I'm holding up to the light here, and let's see. Uh, yeah, it's pretty de decent, decent clarity. Uh, really nice color. I like the color. Y yeah, it uh, looks a lot like the like the saisons that I made. So it's homegrown hops. This is cool. I've never, uh, at least as far as I know, I've never had a beer with homegrown hops before. So uh, let's see, the head is uh, nice tight bubbles. It's a really kind of a thin head, but it's very persistent. It's not going anywhere. Did I mention it's 3.30 in the morning? Yeah. Um, I, I don't get as much of a saison as a as a you know as a farmhouse kind of smell. It's it's there. It's certainly there. You can smell the little s slight funky. It's almost like a almost like a slight peach uh, aroma. So I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let's go ahead and taste. Let's go ahead and taste here. I'm a little tired. Can you tell? I think I'm smelling a little bit of alcohol. Um, it is six point. Is that six point? Man, I got bad eyes here. It is six point six ABV, and it says forty three IBU. Although it doesn't taste like forty three IBU. 
He had a starting gravity of 1052 and a final gravity of 1002. That's some, that's some good attenuation right there. Um, if it wasn't for that slight smell of, I think it's alcohol, uh, I wouldn't realize that this was, uh, you know, 6.6. .6. And you could slam this. This would be uh, something you could sit out in the backyard, uh, you know, on a hot day, and, and uh, sit this, uh, slam this. But uh, yeah, re really, uh, really solid beer. Good job there, uh, Little Face Brewing. Um, if I, you don't have it listed on here, but I'd be interested to know what kind of hops. I'm just gonna throw it out there and say it's Centennial. We'll see if I'm right. Anyway, hey, uh, have yourself a good homebrew. Cheers.